Hey guys, it's me, Ryan 91 and I'm bringing you my thoughts on the gameplay demo of Octopath Traveler. Now, if you haven't played the game demo and you want to play it, there will be spoilers ahead for the demo. Okay, first things first. I'm gonna just gonna break this like thought video into three different categories: things I liked, things I didn't like, and then the overall experience. Now, here's the thing: what I liked is that this game is really a throwback to all those old RPGs. Especially, it looks a lot like Legend of Mana. I don't know if a lot of people played Legend of Mana, but for those of you who did on the PS1, it was a good game in my mind, and it looked a lot like this. Basically, it was a 2D person, basically, but he's running around in a world that I guess is technically 2D, but it seems 3D because of all the environment and how the in-depth stuff look and everything. So that's what this reminds me of. And the gameplay in and of itself, it really is old style RPG. It's the basic stuff. It's attack, abilities, items, defend, or flee. They're not doing much special stuff with it. And I kind of like it because like I said, it's throwback. In my mind, it's like the old PS1 games, all those RPGs where we just like attack or defend or abilities and stuff like that. It's simple, but it works. Now, what I also like is that even though, like I said, they've kept it simple, but it works, they've added a couple things, a very few but a couple. One is the breakpoint. What is the breakpoint? Well, enemies will have a shield next to them with a number. And if you find out what that enemy is weak against, whether it be spear, sword, or dagger, and you attack them with what they're weak against, when you hit that number, you get a break, which is basically they don't attack you, so you just get a free attack on them. And I like it because it adds another element of strategy into it where it's like if you calculate your abilities and everything perfectly, you can get it so that your enemies attack you much less. And in some cases, not at all. And another thing they also added was this whole ability to charge your attacks, kind of. After each turn, you gain one more charge and you can go up to four charges. And I'm gonna call this Super Saiyan mode. Why am I gonna call this that? Because of the colors that happen with the charges. First it's red, then it's yellow, then it's blue. Sound familiar? Yep, Kaioken, Super Saiyan, and then Super Saiyan Blue. So this is Super Saiyan mode in my mind. Other than that, I just really like these environments because even though they clearly went with the old style 2D way, the world looks amazing. It's not like PS1, PS2 days. They definitely took advantage of the hardware and they used it to make beautiful environments. Okay, those are some pretty good things about the demo. Now, what didn't I like? Well, this isn't specifically about the game, it's more about the demo. I think the demo was a little bit too limiting. Even though you could easily play about two hours or more in this demo, you only are limited to each player's original part of the story. Now, here wherein lies the problem. See, they pushed this game as a forge your own path story, and I have yet to experience any forge your own pathing in the demo. See. That's a big part of the game in my mind, so I think they should have at least included maybe a little bit just like the first part where you get to choose either go here or here, but they didn't include any of that, so you can never really get that forge your own path. So I don't know how that will work in the game, and I really think they should have at least included just one part of it where you could forge your own path, just like the first decision, just like maybe the first major decision you're given. I just think that would have been a little bit extra so people could see how the whole forge your own path system works. Another problem, now this one may be in the game, I'm not sure, but enemies don't have any life bars. Now, I understand most times enemies don't have life bars in RPGs, and I'm fine with that. But even old RPGs like Legend of Dragoon used to have ways to let you know when an enemy was mid, and definitely when an enemy was low on health. I mean, the heroes in this game do it. When they're low on health, they sometimes sloop down, they look weaker. So... I'm surprised that the enemies don't do it as well. There should be something. Even if it's just like maybe an enemy is standing up and then he kind of kneels down and then when he's really low with health, he like is holding his side or something. Just something to indicate because it's a big flaw if this game doesn't include something that allows me to know how they're doing on health. It doesn't have to be a health bar. It just has to be something to indicate because that has to do with strategy as well. You're only going to attack a certain way if you know how weak the enemy is. You're not just going to keep going full blow blown if you know the enemy is about to die. So I really think they need to add that in. Now it is possible that when the full games come out, maybe one of the playable characters will have an ability that allows them to see the health bar or allows you to see how weak the enemy is doing right now. Because right now as it is, enemies don't seem to change. They just seem to keep standing up until you finally kill them and then they kind of disintegrate. And those are the two things I really want to talk about the demo. Overall, it's a pretty good demo. I like the environments. I 
I like the characters' backstories, but the backstories themselves are cliche. They're not like anything special, I think, because at least the two characters I've seen in the demo, one was, oh, I've got to kill the guy who betrayed me during the war. The other one is, oh, I got to kill the people who killed my father. You know, pretty cliche stories, but still kind of pretty good. You guys play this demo? Are you guys planning on buying this game? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Remember, like, share, and subscribe, and may God bless you all.